I heard about uh, Bitcoin on the interwebs. I want to put some money behind it because, you know, I don't want to miss out on the next financial revolution. This money, this digital internet magical money that transcends the border. The OG Mr. Bitcoin. Right now, the altcoins are getting crushed as Bitcoin surges and surges and surges. Okay, so this thing right here, it's a custom computer device built just for Bitcoin mining. This stuff is loud, it's hot, pretty crazy stuff. doesn't need an army to back it. And that's why governments are so scared of it. A lot of people like to talk about Bitcoin mining, but I live it. And I've been pushing forward with Bitcoin mining for years. And when I got into Bitcoin mining, people told me it was too late. I will tell you now with half a decade of experience, it is last call to get into Bitcoin mining because, well, of numerous things I'm gonna break down in today's video. Bitcoin mining has changed so much over the years. I'm not one of those guys who got in at the very beginning and I didn't get it to participate in the incredible one CPU, one vote, and mining hundreds or thousands of Bitcoins a day, a week, whatever. You know, my goal was to mine an entire Bitcoin. And I'm resetting all my metrics as I build out a new Bitcoin mining farm. We just got the lights turned on with the farm. And we're in the process of setting up the miners, hooking them up, everything like that. But I'm really two years behind schedule. And my end game is to power it with solar panels. So I'm basically producing my own electricity because my electric rate isn't that great. Electric rates are going up across the globe. And mining competition is very fierce right now. But there are many major Bitcoin miners that are truly on the brink of bankruptcy, which will lessen the competition. But then there's that thing called the Bitcoin halving and Bitcoin mining profitability will be cut in half. So you start to see there's a lot to just unpack here. And I've learned so much along the way. And I want to just make a note that mining is fun and in, is incredible. But Bitcoin mining is a very serious game with a lot of capital behind it. There are big players participating. And if you don't have an advantage, you know, whether that's with energy or hardware connection and low prices or, you know, some kind of grant or just other funding, then Bitcoin mining is very difficult. It's very precarious if you make the wrong steps you will never break even every year they release bitcoin miners that are more efficient and once that efficiency is too far ahead of your older miners then they're just not even worth running even with cheaper electricity rates so let me bring it back to my point of view and then i want to kind of flesh out uh from there so i've been working on buying land building my own Bitcoin mining farm. I want to mine some other coins there, but the backbone of it is Bitcoin mining. It's taken me literally a couple extra years than I had anticipated. And now with all the FTX and the contagion falling out from that, I potentially lost my war chest, which is beyond devastating. And I really just don't even want to talk about that right now because it's kind of devastating and I'm kind of just trying to push forward with what I've got right now. Um, you know, pick up the pieces and, and run, it severely weakens my plan and the things that I can do. But I'm so far along, I don't want to just give up. I have hardware, I have infrastructure, I have everything in place. So now it really comes down to running the numbers. And the numbers are constantly changing. And this is the simple way I look at it. So if my miners are earning more dollars per day than they're burning in electricity, they're going to be on. If I can utilize their heat in the cold months and kind of be able to, you know, write off some of the heat bill, right? Well, then that becomes an interesting proposition. But if they are, are losing bets, then they're just not worth running. 
which begs the question of do you sell them or do you sit on them and hope that things get better? I think Bitcoin will hit a new all time high in the future. When? I don't know. But I want to be here when that happens. And I need to mine some coin prior to that. And again, we have the Bitcoin having impending on us. Basically, being a, a, a Bitcoin miner full time over the last five years, this is one of the most treacherous situations I've ever seen. Uh, with, you know, me personally getting crushed, you know, building this war chest and then just having it swiped from me by, you know, making a misstep of, of not following the the this decree that should be not your keys not your coins you know new battery got complacent i guess you know we can i don't want to beat a dead horse on that one but the uh, fact but that's not but that's more my situation personally you look at the global scale right there's more big time bitcoin miners than ever before and they're over leveraged and they're dealing with rising electricity rates falling hardware value new miners coming into the fray there's just a lot of competition. Not that long ago, Bitcoin mining hit a new all-time high in network hash rate, which means that it's more difficult than ever to mine a Bitcoin, which means that there's more people, you know, chopping at that same pie. And I'm competing against those million dollar, billion dollar players. And I love Bitcoin and everything it stands for, but I don't want to go bankrupt chasing Bitcoin mining dreams. And has the ship sailed, to be honest? Almost. This halving will severely crush Bitcoin mining revenue per day. And the next halving after that, which is about five years away, in my opinion, basically is the kill shot to Bitcoin mining. Because long term, Bitcoin mining is not sustainable, especially as they are trying to move a lot of these transactions to they say like the lightning network and these other things that either either reduce fees and or remove them from the main chain but those bitcoin transaction fees go to miners and miners run the blockchain and with all this hardware out there if they're not incentivized to keep running it and keep mining and be good actors then you have the risk of a 51 percent attack and it is truly kind of shaping up to be a, a, an assault on Bitcoin because you're going to have these farms and they're not going to be profitable to run anymore and then you're going to have bad actors pop up because there's not going to there's going to be less good actors just burning a bunch of electricity mining not that many Bitcoins that you're not paying enough for security your security force will leave and your security force that's left will be weakened and then they will succumb to an attack they kind of put it simply. People say Bitcoin proof work is not sustainable. It's not green. It's not whatever. Well, I don't want to hear any of that. This is a just novel technology. And without, you know, trading something of value, you shouldn't really be getting something of value. You're trading electricity to run this network. The competition, it just makes sense. It's not about going green. Ethereum went green with proof of stake. Yeah, and that's probably why they're going to be reclassified as security and face huge regulation. And to be honest, they basically are security now. They had an initial coin raise. They have a, sta a proof of stake blockchain. Their coins are distributed in a just very centralized manner. And I'm not trying to sound like a hater or a Bitcoin maxi. I think Ethereum is a novel technology as well with the, the virtual machine, smart contracts, the decentralized applications. There's so much there, but moving away from proof of work for proof of stake, and it's not really any more scalable, gas fees are still hot, it's a sham. Just like virtue signaling with going green on XYZ, and SBF was this vegan, Sam Bankman Free is supposed to save the world and he'll give all his money away, whatever. Dude, he gave customer funds away while parading is like being this, you know, you know, doing everything right, going green, not eat meat-based products, whatever. It's beta male as hell. And that's one of the main issues. I was slow to get into Bitcoin mining because I thought I was too late. And I wasn't. And I wish that I went heavier in the beginning. But that was five years ago. And the Ant Miner S9 was the SHA-256, which is the Bitcoin mining algorithm. Uh, you know, and, and the Ant Miner S9 was the king of SHA-256 mining then. And I, ha and I got a couple but not enough, and I didn't make it my backbone. I regret that. 
now I've moved forward with the latest generation of the S19s, the Pros, the XPs, and you have all these terrible names by Bitmain, which is a major Bitcoin miner manufacturer. There's also some competitors like MicroBT and their What's Miners. Canon has a new miner, but it's not incredibly efficient. Uh, but it's it's better than their older models. But anyway, the, the point is, you know, I'm building out Bitcoin miners. I have a dozen of them or so ready to deploy right now. And I'm continuing to expand as, as I can. The channel is also something we do here at Boss Queen in addition to the mining operation. So the channel does bring in some additional revenue. So that does change the dynamics of my Bitcoin mining business some. So if I can make some money with Boss Queen, the YouTube channel, then I can also run my miners at a bit of a loss and expense them against my business and basically stack up Bitcoins. That's the dream, that's the goal. That is a unique position that I can have over some competitors. And that helps me basically offset my not that ideal electricity rate that ranges between eight and 12 cents right now. And I'm working on getting that down with an industrial grade three phase installation but that takes months and months. Right now I'm operating on a single phase installation, which basically keeps me in a residential price bracket, which is not good. Some of the top questions I get from other people when they realize I'm a Bitcoin miner is, what, what the hell is Bitcoin mining? You know, we have these computer hardware and they crunch numbers and we get paid for it. We run a network. It's kind of like crowdsource server farm. It's one way to try to break it down. Uh, you know, have I made money? Yes, I've made more money than I've spent in Bitcoin mining, which is why I continue to do it and pursue it. But it hasn't been really incredibly lucrative. It has been profitable because I've stayed the course, right? And year over year, on average, Bitcoin goes up. Obviously, there's some rebound years and bear markets, cold winter, stuff like that. But if you zoom out, you know, Bitcoin looks like this. And... Well, I'm not really trying to get off that ride. I just hope that it's not a roller coaster one day that goes down and never really comes back. So I've made money in Bitcoin mining, um, and that's why I continue to pursue it. But it's not just about making dirty dollars. I truly believe in just the novel technology that is Bitcoin, global currency, digital gold, borderless peer-to-peer -peer cash, all that stuff. Uh, I don't want to sound like some kind of Bitcoin zealot. I, I, I truly believe in it. And... The more you learn about how corrupt the governments are and printing endless fiat currency, it's pretty terrifying. And that's why they try to keep us, you know, under the little thumb. The next question is, should you get into Bitcoin mining? Should I get into Bitcoin mining? Someone asks me. Um, you know, Bitcoin miners are industrial grade now. They're big, they're loud, they're power hungry. You need 240 volt, 220 volt, right? You know, like industrial grade electricity to run them. You could do it in your house in single phase, two legs of 120. If you're like, what are you saying, dude? We have an electricity guy to break it down. But basically there's altcoins you can mine. Just plug them into any outlet in your house. A little box miners, kind of like that one behind me. Here's some footage of some other box miners. You know, those are fun. They cost a couple hundred bucks. You could plug them in anywhere and they even have Wi-Fi support. Stuff like that is better from like a hobbyist point of view. If you want to take this serious, you, you can absolutely mine Bitcoin. It's not too hard to add that electricity to your house. An electrician will come by, you know, call up anybody off of your, you know, you know local Yelp, whatever, and uh, probably install it for three to five hundred dollars, depending on your area. You know, you're looking for just one plug and then you need to, you know, either get a cable to plug into that. You also need Ethernet because these bigger Bitcoin miners don't run on Wi-Fi. You can use a power line adapter, which basically sends Ethernet throughout your house, which is pretty cool over the power lines. Um, a quick, easy and pretty affordable way to to deal with that, um, which is actually what I still run in my garage in this house right now. But basically, only if you're really into it. And honestly, I see a lot of people get into Bitcoin mining more as like a talking point or just say I did it or I do it or, you know, they want to mine some coin and heat their basement right? Something like that, as opposed to a serious endeavor now, because these mining rigs cost thousands of dollars. They cost dozens of dollars a week to run. You know, they cost a couple grand a year to operate. They're depending on your electricity rate. They're not cheap to buy. They're not cheap to operate. And you don't mine all that much coin. Yes, depending on how the numbers fall, you know, look at the mining profitability calculators, crunch numbers, figure out your cost per kilowatt hour. And you can see 
just how profitable or unprofitable it would be for you. Uh, so, you know, if you're all about it, do it, right? Join the Voscoin Discord server, connect with 50,000 other like-minded miners. Tons of resources out there, people to connect with, have fun. You meet some of the coolest people in cryptocurrency in the mining community. It's changed my life and I made some of my best friends in there. But it's a serious endeavor these days and it's not for everyone. So without talking for 29 hours and kind of to wrap it up here, you know, my outlook as a full-time Bitcoin miner is I didn't, I didn't, I just didn't do it enough in the beginning and it's a little frustrating. And, uh, you know, in retrospect, hindsight's 2020, that stuff, right? Um, I wish I pushed more on the Bitcoin mining front instead of messing around with more of these altcoins, shit coins, um, and whatever else. Uh, it, it wasted some of my time, my electricity, and my money. Um, some of them were fruitful uh, endeavors, some weren't. But the writing on the wall moving forward is very clear. The waters are treacherous. The competition is fierce. And things are not getting any easier. And, you know, it's... I'm trying to get this stuff set up and situated. And if I can't pivot effectively towards solar power sooner than later you know it could come to the point where i have to pull the plug i need to get these i need to generate my own electricity pay off the panels pay off the miners and then it's all green baby but if i can't get there i can't you know keep fighting this uphill battle and, and you'll get to a point where i'm financially exhausted and, and it's just it's over um you know i don't want to just keep working and working and grinding and pushing and I just have all this infrastructure that's just not really worth it. It's very easy to get sucked into the sunk cost with mining. You know, you build a mining shed or you get a building for mining, you set up all the electricity, you buy the hardware, you have all of these costs and you're like, I'm doing it no matter what. And that's why miners are some of the most bullish and committed crypto users, investors, traders, whatever in the sector because they got skin in the game they're strapped in and, and i'm right there with you but i also try to take a deep breath and a step back and you know analyze evolve adapt and you know bob and weave and, and move the best i can so you know that that's kind of the situation as it stands i'm gonna keep pushing forward uh I, you know i've taken you know critical damage uh, with the just recent fallout of the FTX contagion, I'm not dead yet. Uh, so until they kill me, I'm gonna keep pushing forward. And uh, you know, however it goes, for better or worse, I'll keep you updated here on the Voscoin YouTube channel. If you like this content at all, please share it. Please subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up. Uh, your support here on the channel, honestly, is like really all that's keeping me going. Other than of course, uh, you know, Tails, cutest pup in the world and alexa my beautiful girlfriend and my dad's very cool and supportive um he's always been that way as well so so i got if you need some support yourself please come hang out in the discord server check out the boss coin forum boss coin talk a lot of like-minded individuals you're not alone out here even if you know no one in your personal life you know we're trying to make you know life-changing moves here and uh you can't win if you're not playing the game so hey i'll see you on the next one.